السلام عليكم Good evening, heroes. Yes, yes, you are heroes. The vanguard of justice. The voice of the voiceless. The voice of the oppressed. The voice of the Gazan people. Yes, you are. Be proud of yourself. We are proud of who we are. We are proud of what we stand for. And we are proud of we of who we stand for and who we stand against. Let the deaf hear. Let the blind see that we are here in the tens of thousands from all over America. We came here in the tens of thousands and bribed and bribed. Did any one of you get $250 to be here? No. Just a few weeks ago, Zionists were marching in Washington, D.C. A few thousands of them, a few of those who are morally corrupted, were here, bribed, bought off, paid $250 to be here. But we, the tens of thousands, the hundreds of thousands of us, we came here on our own dime. We came here because we are proud of what we stand for. Because we know the Gazan people are the oppressed. Because we know that Israel is a genocidal state. Because we know that Schumer, that Biden, that Hakeem Jeffrey should be ashamed of themselves. We come to stand with people like Professor Cornel West. We are proud standing next to him, but I am not proud to be next to Joe Biden. We're not. We're here because we celebrate Martin Luther King. Does anyone celebrate George Wallace? Do you even know who George Wallace is? Does anyone give a damn about George Wallace? Does anyone give a damn about Benjamin Netanyahu? Does, one, does anyone give a damn about Genocide Joe? But we all care for the people of Gaza, and we are them. History will celebrate you. History will register your names. History will register the victory of Gaza. And history will disregard genocide Joe, Hakeem Jeffrey, Schumer, and the rest of the gang, the corrupt gang. My dear brothers and sisters, this is not this is not a one activity for Palestine. What we do here is not the end of it. It didn't start today. It's not going to end tomorrow. We have to continue this work. We are ushering a new era in America. An era for a free Palestine. Not only to end genocide, Genocide will come to an end with our collective voices, with us collectively demanding it, enforcing it. We're not going to forget. We're not going to forgive. We will not. Those who are being tried now before the ICJ, whether they're condemned or not, we condemn them for genocide. Those, those, Apologists of them, those who are defending them, those who are providing them with the diplomatic immunity. We know that you are as implicated as Israel. We know that when this administration calls the charge against genocide Israel, meritless is that they are meritless 
They should be ashamed of themselves. Shame on them. Joe Biden, Anthony Blinken, Austin, they know that they are as criminal as Netanyahu, as Benikfir, as Modric, as Gallant, as Israel. We know that. That's why they call it meritless. No basis. Screw you, Joe Biden. Screw you. Screw you, Joe Biden. You would never be able to take away from us our freedom of expression. We would never be deterred by what you accuse us of being anti-Semitic. We're not the anti-Semitics here. We are for justice for all. It is you who are fueling anti-Semitism. When you claim that Israel is the embodiment of Judaism, when you claim that Israel, the Israeli people are the embodiment of Jews, they're not representatives of Jews. And we don't accept that you infringe on our freedom of expression. If you were able to fire university presidents because they stood for First Amendment, we're not going to allow you to compromise our First Amendment. We're not going to be deterred by you. This is a movement. The, history, the future belongs to us. Younger Americans, you are the majority who condemn Israel, who sympathize with Palestine. Not because they're Palestinians, not because they're Muslims vis-a-vis -vis Jews, or Christians vis-a-vis -vis Jews, or Jews vis-a-vis -vis others. It's not because of that. It's because we stand on a principle. We stand for justice for all, for any oppressed people. I am a proud Palestinian. I am a proud Arab. I am a proud Muslim. If Jews, if Jews were being massacred the way the Palestinians are being massacred, wallahi, I'll be standing here, speaking on their behalf, defending them. I am not proud to say that I'll be like Joe Biden, a man who subscribes to selective humanity, selective morality. This corrupt administration was prompt in supporting the ICC, accusing, jo accusing Vladimir Putin, another corrupt, another dictator like this stupid guy here behind me, accusing him of what? Of genocide. Accusing Russia of committing genocide in Ukraine, although the US doesn't even recognize the ICC. ICC. But suddenly we have some moral authority, as he claims. We go against Russia. We go against Vladimir Putin. We see the crimes that Russia is committing in Ukraine. But when it comes to Israel, there is no genocide. Anthony Blinken suddenly is a blind person. Anthony Blinken suddenly is a deaf person. Anthony Blinken, whose hard acts over the Palestinian children being pulled from under the wreckage, still has the audacity to call it meritless, accusing Israel of being a genocidal state. So let me tell you this. We don't subscribe to selective humanity. We don't subscribe to selective morality. We subscribe to humanity, we subscribe to liberality, and we subscribe to justice, and we subscribe to ejecting these corrupt politicians from office. I'll finish, I'll end with this. I am proud to be the executive director of the American Muslims for Palestine. I'm proud to be the executive director of its affiliates, 501c4 organization, Americans for Justice in Palestine Action, AGP Action, a lobbying organization for Palestine. I am proud of this collective effort by the Muslim Task Force, by American Muslim Task Force, by our staff. I'm proud that we have made this a reality. I am proud that we believed in you, and you believed in us, and we believe Palestine 
will be free. And I am proud to tell you that this fight will continue. That does not end here. One, do you see a petition here? Tax Gaza to 21,000. Everyone, I know maybe you don't have service here. Tax Gaza, tax Gaza to 21,000. Don't go home today, tonight, before you tax Gaza to 21,000, number one. Two, this is a movement. Be part of it. Go to our website, American Business of Palestine, oamp.org, agpaction.org. Become a member. Become a member of JVP. Become a member of this movement. Become a member of Code Pink. Support all of these organizations. Mass, Care, MLFA, Muna, all of these organizations. Become active. This is what's going to change things. Don't be less enthusiastic. Don't be less passionate about your cause. Make sure that your corrupt politicians hear back, hear from you. If they're good, thank them. But if they're bad on Palestine, make sure that they hear you. Continue to fight for Palestine. Leave tonight home more committed, more committed that this is a movement. I am an integral part of it. It's not going to work without me. It is a collective responsibility, but it is also a personal responsibility. We are going to reconstruct this, this hope. We are going to realize it. We are going to ensure Philistine will be free. We were going to ensure that America will be free. We were going to ensure that no more cheating, no more deception, no more politician promising us equality, freedom, Justice for all, when they are the most morally bankrupt people who continue to lie and think that they can get away with it. We will make sure that we don't forget and we don't what? Forgive. We don't, right? Palestine will be free. Gaza will be victorious. We are not running away. The Gaza people are standing tall on their land. They are not fleeing. They are, not, they are not leaving their homeland. They will come back to the same houses that Israel destroyed. They will be rebuilt. Palestine will be, continue to be on the map. Tell Netanyahu, screw you. Screw your map. Screw your government. We will dismantle this apartheid state. We will dismantle this genocide state. Only justice will bring all to live in peace. Muslim, Christian, Jews, all people will live in peace when Israel, in its current form, as a current structure, will cease to exist. But freedom and justice will prevail and continue to exist. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>